Welcome to Delcam Crispin Shoemaker Pro 2014 R2 Watts new video and in this video we're going to look at the import of an OBJ last which is going to highlight the ordinate position points automatically placed on the last once we've imported the last we can go to the new FPM editor and user defined flattening options so I'm going to start by importing my OBJ last so I go to import last import and select my now OBJ last it brings up last identification wizard and I can select between standard and orthopedic last so I'm going to select standard last and select next now the ordinate points have automatically been placed on the last so we can rotate the last and see these points the top point has been positioned the heel bottom is being positioned however I can move this point by selecting and repositioning it we can rotate the last round and see that the cone top has been positioned and the toe point again I can click again and replace the toe point when I'm happy at these positions I can press next on the wizard and this takes me through to the next section so here I have to define the top to the sides to the bottom the top because the last is a nice sharp edge has automatically been identified and I move to the feather curve so let's look at the last from the bottom also quite good but the points need positioning so I can select the points on the line and move their position points can be added and removed by holding down the T key and selecting on the line to add a point or to hover over a point to delete when I'm happy with these positions I can have a look and see my fitting accuracy so this gives me a report on how well my imported last will be fitted accurately over the original and I can hover over these points and get a result so on the left hand side there is a color chart identifying the maximum deviation if I'm happy I can press next or if I feel that the fitting should be higher I can increase or decrease the accuracy using the slider with the last brought in I can adjust the cone at the toe point position the center line moving it backwards and forwards using the radio buttons pressing next brings me through to select the orientation so I can adjust the pitch and the balance of the shoe I can press next to continue and identify the last so this is a right foot last I could choose it to be a euro size for men and it's a 42 I can select finish and this brings me through into the flattening dialog I can select OK on the flattening dialog and flatten the last looking at the last in 2D I can now go into the last mode and edit the flattening so I can go to the first option the flattening parameter interactive editing option and this brings up a new dialog here I can change things like the spring factor and you can see how the flattening is changed related to the original flattening by moving the radio buttons or key entering values I can alter the overall length of the last the width of the last flattening I can make this area here with a slight kink push out and be smooth and adjust that value and I can also change the back curve settings at the top and base obviously adjusting positions of the flattening affect other areas of the flattening care has to be taken to ensure the flattening is as you desire we can go into the advanced mode and we can affect the bottom feather edge in many planes positions all I need to do is select on a position and then start deciding to increase the inside or outside scale value and as you can see the top line is changing backwards and forwards 
if I wish to edit any of these I can select on them I can either choose to delete totally removing them or moving their position up and down the flattening once positioned again I can move lines in and out to create the desired flattening effect if I wish to add a new line I can se select an add but it will choose to do in between the two positions that I have I can move this line by either going through the radio buttons or just changing the position either to the toe or if a negative value to the back again changing the values the last three buttons are the scale factor for the cone so I can adjust the cone flattening again changing one does affect the other and something called the vamp point angle now the vamp point plane angle defines a position of the flattening along the neutral axis usually from the joint to the back curve altering this does have effect on the last but it's less predictable when I'm happy I can either save all my parameters and apply them to other lasts that I bring in or just accept for this last alone if I go back to my flattening I can see that I now have a current default saved I can also edit the flattening using the user defined flattening. Here I can change shells manually by just pulling and dragging or I can import a shell from a 2D piece of software in such format such as DXF and swap the shells over. Once I've made changes that I feel are necessary to my flattening either on the outside or inside flattening I can then choose to either just save as it is on this particular last or I'd make an FPM file that can be used again on other lasts. We can preview the result of saving the FPM file using the preview button. As you can see what we have is the new line which will define what the flattening will look like if applied with an FPM file so it's the best attempt that the software can do to match the current pulled around flattening again we can change these and we can redo the flattening thank you for watching the video